Howdy folks. Another weekend shave. This uh, this is the uh, soap that I had mentioned before. I'm going to put this back together real quick. This is Uncle Walter. And the uniqueness about this, con this container is when you take the lid off, that's what's inside. You got a tray with your scoop and the tray comes right out there's your soap and it, it's a soft soap yeah you can see it, it don't take much to put your finger in it it's a this is a really nice scent um, I'll put the scent profile down at, down below there but uh, this one here is a 150 uh, milliliter in other words five ounces of soap in this uh, nice container it's uh, to have your your scoop right there with you so in other words if you're traveling you're going to be bowl lathering or whatever the case might be you got your scoop and everything right there with you and there's the aftershave along with the profile there I like that being put on there um, especially if um, I had a better idea about what some of this meant. <laughs> One of uh, the scent profile mentions musk, but uh, it's wow, I'll have to put the profile down below. Difficult for me to describe it, but this is really nice scent. I'll also be using uh, my Allen bar, complete with rubber band. Still using Humphreys today, Witch Hazel, and the razor of the day is my uh, head over here in the warm water I have a gym micromatic and inside if you can see that I have a pow blade yep, and that's what it looks like I think this is either the second or third use and I have to look it up and make sure how far along I'm on this blade whipped all this up with my uh, Big Bruce Razor Rock what I had whipped up there in the, my little bowl here. I'm going to go ahead and wet the face and get started. I have uh, shaved with uh, this open comb Micromatic before Jim and uh, I enjoyed you get pretty good shaves at least I do with these uh, with these razors. I have uh, Got, I have the pow blades and I also have some from American Safety Razor Persona in other words <clears throat> and I just recently got in some treat razors razor blades I'm going to give those a try see how those shave And you can see, oh, this thing's really loaded up with lather. <laughs> it is just packed. Big Bruce is, I think, a 26 millimeter. And that bowl, it pretty well fills the bowl. Had no trouble getting this thing lathered up. This feels really good. Here we go, first pass. I'm going to go with the green. For me, I enjoy the, uh, the feedback that I get with razors. And this one here has a certain amount of feedback. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I know I can hear it. I get pretty good shaves with these. Considering how old 
these razors are, especially if you think about how old the design is. These are pretty good razors. These must have been the, I guess you might say, the Cadillac of the day. I know to me looking back on it, I think they are. Just hearing that feedback, knowing that it's cutting these whiskers. Soap's pl plenty slick. Got a lot of slickness. This is really good soap. That was a really good design on that uh, tub to have that scoop in with that tray. I like that. That's a really good idea. No, yeah, that's the same size tub as their 70th edition. It's just it doesn't have <laughs> over 8 ounces of soap packed in it. <laughs> That container there was packed with a full of soap. Yeah, there's a lot of slickness there. That is one nice to have nice thing about some of these soaps that leave enough residual on your face that if you felt like you wanted to go back over a spot, you could. No trouble. The soap's really nice. There's some razors with the blades in there. Going back over a spot may not be the best idea if it, there's not enough slickness in the soap. This one here, there's no problem with it. The scent is really nice. And this brush, being a 26 millimeter, covers your face really quick, especially if you got facial hair like I do. Covers it in no time at all. Going across the green. If you haven't seen one of my videos before, you probably have uh, my hair, <laughs> especially the closer it gets to the jawline, has a tendency to grow in many different directions. So in other words, back over here, on both sides you can shave either direction and you can still pick up places where in case you might say uh, go in a different direction you you have a tendency to pick up hairs that you didn't pick up uh, going the first time right here if I go this direction, it's for me it's more of against the grain. And even though this might be considered uh, uh, across the grain, back over here, going both directions, I still pick up hair going both ways. That's how bad it grows on each side. It's just every which direction.
think that's probably one of the reasons why early on, when I first started shaving, I'm in my 50s now, so this was quite some time back, uh, the big razors, the disposable ones with the what, orange caps on there, yeah, that's what I, that and the good news razors is what I started with. With, uh, you know, the can foam and eventually the gel still didn't work out very well for me. Right there I have where it grows in a swirl, curlicue if you will. That's one of the places where I usually end up with a lot of irritation back then, as well as right over here with this hair that grows in different directions right here, especially this way. It, it'd get really bad right over here. To me though, those razors just never really, you know, looking back at it, knowing what I know now, experiencing shades with razors like this, I don't think those blades were never quite made to cut the mustard on these kind of whiskers. I had any, any I guess you might say, more knowledge to know what a double-edged safety razor was and how to use one. Definitely would have used one back then. Because those shades back then really did suck. Some re really bad shaves. Especially compared to what I'm getting right now. <laughs> those were horrible. It's one thing to put aftershave on and have the sting. But eventually that goes away shortly thereafter. A good half a day my face would be like that. It would just be raw. Of course, I think I've developed a <clears throat> better technique than when I first started out. Start out, what was it, April, March or April 2015, shaving, way shaving. And um, <clears throat> technique has a lot to do with it, the amount of pressure you use. Learn, <clears throat> shave, excuse me, shaving with a shavette, to me, makes a world of difference on learning about pressure. Yeah, you'll learn about pressure in a hurry. <laughs> Too much? Yeah, you'll find out quick. <laughs> Guess the grain. Pass number three. These will be one of those kind of shaves if you're not real familiar with uh, what kind of pressure you should be using. Yeah, the, it'll let you know about it. If I was to ever shave this right here, since it hasn't seen a blade in probably close to 20 years, it'd be like day one shaving with one of these and I'd have to take it pretty easy. Because my skin would not be used to seeing a blade. really like this shave. It's kind of hard with the number of razors I enjoy shaving with. The, you know, you got to rotate them in.
I really enjoy the experience I get with these razors. These things seem like they'll just last forever. Go ahead and rinse the face and <clears throat> get ready to use that Allen block. See what it has to say, how the shave went. Once again, that's kind of typical for me. <laughs> Seem like I usually do get a uh, redness there when I shave, as well as uh, even later on in the day, I, for some reason or another. They, my thoughts are is that I just got some veins that are close to the close to the skin, and I know every once in a while, if you get close enough, you can see them. I refer to them as little spider veins. Just the way I was made, I guess, huh? Alright. If you haven't seen me just talk about this before, I don't know how you guys hang on to it without that rubber band. That rubber band was a heck of an idea. In other words, when I started using one of these was with this rubber band, this one right here. I usually go with the Allen block first. And then I do dry it off on a dry towel. And uh, then I go right ahead and I put it right back in its container. Snap it close. The next I use the witch hazel. To me this combination works better than if I just use the Allen block all by itself. I it gives me my face feel that my face is dried out if I use just the Allen block. But if I use my Witch Hazel, and this one here is just an astringent. I do also have the Witch Hazel that's a toner. And uh, the, uh, the face feel, the post feel afterwards to me is better uh, using Witch Hazel after the Allen block. At least that's for me. Of course, you do what works best for you. When I first started out, I was just using the uh, the, uh, the witch hazel, and um, I can't remember who it was that I saw on a video that uh, was using both. Might have been Steve Walker. Got me to thinking maybe I should try using both and see how that works for me. Like I said, when I first started using Allen Block, it felt really really dry that need for using a balm after the fact Uncle Walter oh by the way yeah this is in a glass container I really like the glass containers to me that just um, I don't know how to else to put it just class makes you think that you're getting a very quality product being in the glass may be kind of silly thinking. But glass versus the plastic, yeah, the glass just feels feels more upscale. Even though it's the same product. This smells really good. I guess in a way I kind of feel like I have a lot of catching up to do. Because I didn't discover this until, like I said, 2015. All those years. I missed out on a lot, I feel like. Some of it may not have been so bad to miss out on. I know early on I wish I would have missed out on all that. <laughs> Those horrible shades. Also, to, um, uh, I have been using, off camera I'll put this on, but I've been using uh, this beard oil. I've been using the balm, and, it, and the balm just fine. I'm just experimenting, using different things to see what works for me. And uh, been using the, the beard oil. And this one here has got the tea tree mint in it. And they have another one that's uh, a different flavor. And I can't remember what it is. Um, pick these up at Walmart. They're finally getting to the point where you can go into most of your supers and find it. And then later on, starting next month, I'm going to start this one here. And that's the scent on that one there. I've already smelled this one. This one smells great. Just awesome. 
And once again, yep, I used the uh, Razor Rock Big Bruce. Still got, I got plenty of soap in there. Razor I used today. Open comb, Micromatic Gem. Twist open. And you can see the power blade in there. It'll give you a little bit of an idea tomorrow. I am going to, first time I shaved with this, I, this is an unscented soap, and I used it with uh, without any scent to it. The soap itself performed just great, and now I'm going to use the oil uh, in a fair, and I'm going to test out how the scent works with this. And the aftershave I'm going to use is, and talking about a glass container, this one here I think is what, 200, yeah, 200 milliliter. This is a big bottle. I'm going to give it a try tomorrow. Everybody, this was a Black Friday weekend, so stay safe and smooth shaves.